Hello, and welcome to Alleviate Dry Eye, where you can learn to take care of your eyes like it's the only pair you'll ever have. I'm your host, Dr. Pam Terrio. I'm a dry eye specialist and an author of the book, Alleviate Dry Eye. Today, I want to talk to you about treating your dry eyes when you hate taking eye drops. I have lots of patients in my office that just don't like taking drops. They may be, they have arthritis and they can't squeeze the bottles or their hands shake too much, or they just don't like putting things in their eyes. And so what do you do as um, a dry eye sufferer when you can't take eye drops? So first of all, let me review with you. Uh, if you have dry eyes, I always advocate taking four simple steps every day to treat your dry eyes. So those are hydrate, harmonize, heat, and heal. What does that mean? Well, hydrate is using some artificial tears to lubricate your eyes. Harmonize means getting rid of the bacteria and the biofilm and the dirt and the dust and the debris that's on your lids and lashes that's gotten accumulated there during the day and re rinsing it away. Then we talk about heat. So using a warm compress to heat up the my booming glands that live in the eyelids, releasing some oil from there so that the oil can come out and coat the tears. And then finally, healing the eyes using an anti-inflammatory supplement, nutritional supplement um, with some omega-3 fatty acids in it. So four simple steps that you do every day to treat your dry eyes. So what would you do if you hated to take eye drops. So let's just flip that around and I'll tell you what to do. So number one for hydrate, instead of putting tears in your eyes, you can use a prescription medication called Tirvaya. This is it, I don't think you can read it. Anyway, Tirvaya is a nasal spray and you actually put the nasal spray into your nostril this way and spray it and spray it and there's a, a, a nerve that comes from your lacrimal gland and goes all the way down to the tip of your nose. So if you stimulate that nerve, the signal will go backwards and help you to produce your own tears. Now, I do have a video about how to instill the tear via, and I'll put a link in the notes below if you wanna go and learn more about tear via specifically. So step two is the harmonized step. So we're still going to use that lid and lash cleanser. I like the Hypochlor spray a lot because you start with a clean face and you just close your eyes and spritz the spray onto your closed lids and lashes. Then you leave it. You don't have to rub it, rinse it, anything. And so if you hate touching your eyes, this one is perfect. Squirt, squirt, and then just let it air dry. Perfect. Number three is heating. So again, you can still use your warm compress. You know, I love the unclog mask. I've got it right here. However, there are some new in-office treatments that I think you would also love. They are going to heat up the meibomian glands and then use some form of expression to get those oils out. So it heats to the melting point of the oils and then expresses the clogged oil out of the glands. I've got one right here with me today. This is tear care, let's get the flare off of it. Tear care heats the eyelids and then the doctor uses some special tools to express the glands. Another one is called Lipiflow. Lipiflow has an activator that the doctor puts on the eye and sets the machine to heat and it massage the lids, it does it all in one. And the final one is called eye lux and the doctor would use a tool to heat and express at the same time. So those are all in office procedures, but once you have an in office procedure to unclog your meibomian glands, then you would not need to use your at home mask quite so often. So that is awesome. The last is to uh, use that dietary nutritional supplement that's anti-inflammatory. I like like Hydro Eye, it gives your body the building blocks it needs to produce healthy tears. Uh, Physicians Recommended Nutraceuticals also has a great uh, supplement for omega-3s, and they have a liquid version. So if you hate swallowing pills, 
and hate putting eye drops in, then there's still something for you to treat your eyes. And since we're on the topic of um, in-office procedures a little bit today, the final thing that you could do to treat your eyes if you hate using eye drops is ask your eye care practitioner for punctal plugs. Now, not all patients are good candidates for punctal plugs, but if you are, the doctor can insert a small piece of uh, a punctal plug that's either made of collagen or silicone, whether you want a permanent plug or a dissolvable plug. I prefer the dissolvable ones um, because they sit into the canal and block the tear drain. A lot of times my patients will say, why would I want to block my tear ducts? And you're not blocking the tear ducts. You're still producing tears, um, but we're going to block that they leave the eye so that you have more tears in your eyes. So there's lots of options, even if you hate taking artificial tears or putting um, eye drops in your eyes, there's lots of ways that you can treat your dry eye and still feel comfortable about it. So thanks again for joining me today. I'm so glad you're here. And when you take care of your eyes today, your vision will last you a lifetime. Bye for now.